up, John? How you doing? Good, good. How you doing, bro? I'm all right. Are you performing tonight? Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we literally got here earlier today. They set up the gear and um, all the guys, we've all known each other for obviously many years. So we threw a quick couple sets together and we're going to keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Did you see the Motley Crue um, documentary? Which one? Oh, there's more than one. The Netflix? Yeah, that one. Yeah. What did you think of it? I was, in all honesty, I wasn't a fan uh, of it. Um, they had me in the movie for like uh, a few seconds. And I'm just upset they couldn't get Morgan Freeman to play me. Whatever. Why can't they do that? <laughs> I don't know. Just make the call. Just do it. Make okay? the call. Make the call. So what is Motley Crue's legacy? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. Um, I want just, you to say it, though. Well, it, you know what? It's uh, Obviously, they had great songs. Now, you do realize I wasn't I, a, an original member. I replaced Vince for a few years when he left. Right, right. But, um, you know, they great songs and, uh, you know, a reputation that preceded them everywhere they went. So, you know, Bad Boys of Rock and Roll from Hollywood, California, and there you have it. How cool was it being in the rock era, in that, in that in that era, in that long hair era? Like, how cool was it to be in that? You know what? I, to be honest with you, I came here uh, originally from Philadelphia, and I moved here in '85. So I kind of caught like that tail end when Poison, Guns N' Roses, LA Guns, they were all those bands were coming up. Um, so I kind of got here on the tail end. Okay. But, but you uh, still got part of with was, poison yeah, and rat. It was and, still yeah, it was still going out of control. Yeah, the the yeah. whiskey and all that. What I remember of it, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And the other docs and the other documentaries about them. What do you think of those other Motley Crue? They're, you know, they're, everybody's got their own story, yeah, their own spin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it, I mean, just for example, like if you ask Vince. Um, if he was fired or he quit, he's going to say he was fired. They're right, going to say right. he quit. And, you know, so it's it, obviously a lot of the documentaries depend on who they were talking to right, right. when they did it. So you said go to the Rainbow. Um, I'm at, I'm not in town that long now. I, I literally I live in Nashville now. Oh, so I came in last night, do this today, and then I literally fly back tomorrow morning. At so, seven so no rainbow. I, <laughs> next time I get here, I'm definitely going to go. Because I do love their food. It's good, it's right? Just, it's yeah, good. and it's just one of those things when you come to town, you just got to go and have a cocktail you, and say hello to everybody. You and, do? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's cool. What about, okay, last question. What brings you to this event? Well, I've known Robert, uh, Sarzo, and RJ. Um, God, I, I just saw RJ this afternoon. Uh I knew him when he was nine or ten years old. Okay. So Robert was telling me about the uh, vitamins and, and everything, and Got it. I'm kind of into that whole uh, herbal, you know, whatever. So I said I'd come out and check it out. They asked me to sing, and I said, Yeah, sure. Cool, All right. Cool. So I came out to do this, and All right. like I said, keep our fingers crossed. Right. Look forward to seeing you play, man, tonight. Uh, it should be fun. Good talking to you, bro. All right, buddy. Thank awesome. you.